got done with the Hess Ranch. This road to the left is Dry Creek Canyon. There's a lot of canyons. Each canyon has its own creek. Basically, the snow melts, forms these creeks. We're going to be going up into the National Forest. Here's a sign right here. We definitely don't want to go... There's Big Creek Campground straight ahead. Wow, and that's Dry Canyon hiking area. People go hiking in these canyons. It's absolutely gorgeous. I made a mistake. I went down the wrong road for about 10 miles. What? Oh, crap. The big Is that an eagle? I don't know. What do you think? Crap. Wow. That's where they've, that's why there's rocks. We're riding through the canyon. Actually, we're cutting right through the Toyabe mountain range. And the road's not bad, but it did narrow the creek, big creek. It's not so big anymore. This is big canyon. I actually was able to film for you guys at Eagle, and I'll include the pictures with the video so you can see the Eagle, because it's not every day you get to see one. There's actually a lake, and the canyon just continues to meander through the mountains till we get to Kingston. There is a nice scenic lookout. Hopefully we won't come across any snow. Otherwise I'll have to go all the way around and back, head back and just go the other way. And I don't really want to do that because it rips into our time and gas and mileage. So far I haven't seen any snow on the road. We're, we're kind of at a lower elevation. But these mountains ahead of us are very monolithic. And when I get close, I'll try to get some video or pictures. Cannot get much for now. We're in the National Forest. This is a different one. There are, I believe there's aspens, junipers, pinions. The Shoshone may have used some of the pine nuts from these trees, harvested them for the winter months. It's hard to say. Here we go. This is a good sign to see. Here's living proof of the Toyabe National Forest. Look at that. Awesome, folks. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we're passing Big Creek Campground. It's Easter weekend, so you have to expect there's going to be a few Airstreamers and uh, RVs. Obviously, <laughs> obviously this place is, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a campground. It's more like a couple wood posts with a couple patches of grass and that's it. Here you go. Here's a picnic bench. Here's your campground. It's in the canyon, that's for sure. Yeah, it's deep in the canyon. I didn't know it was in the canyon. I could do a little story about the ghost town here, but there's nothing left. All these places are gone. Everything is gone, and you're getting into a different type of ecosystem here. Much more greener, lots more brush. There's trees, there's cliffs, there's snow. This is a part of Nevada a lot of you have never seen before. I'm really doing it because I really want to see the petroglyphs, the springs, the geyser, and of course Kingston. And if I'm going to do it, why take the highway? Why not take a scenic road where you can enjoy some antelope or enjoy some scenic pictures and I like the forest I'm not a much into the desert I like pretty high deserts but if I was to choose it would be definitely visiting a place like this this is a nice location to visit and the Sun is kind of in your eyes in my eyes too I have protective suns thank God oh, there's more campers Wow. This has got to be a dangerous place to camp, though, if it rains With a lot. Because don't you think it would flood? It's it could so flash cool. flood, and it's supposed to rain 20% chance of rain later. And then on top of it, you have rock slides and, and some areas. The road's not bad, though. I have no complaints about the road. No, the road's not bad. A few big rocks every now and again. probably cooking over it too which is always nice 
I guess you could camp anywhere. They got a sign up here. This place is the real deal, man. Whoa. Does this road go around? Yeah, it goes around. Holy crap, man. Look at that. Everybody. I could drive through the water. It's not, I could. But I can go around to whatever, folks. I'll be back with more footage. Ho oh, ho. It needs a wash. Over the river. Over, we just went over the waterway here, or Big Creek. This or this? It's your choice. Yeah. Which is why it's been really toxic because I cannot catch the horse on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. There's no flame. It's safe. It's kind of dry out here. It could still catch on fire. Like this brush. Underbrush. Oh yeah, the creek continues to meander through there. These canyons are just so gorgeous. And they're lush. In another month, this will be so green out here. There'll be flowers from spring blooming. I've seen pictures of wild flowers in this canyon. They got them. Butterflies, all that. It's a really nice place. I seen a picture of that, this canyon. Doesn't even look like Nevada. It's so steep, the trees almost grow sideways in that canyon. <laughs> Not even joking about it. Look at that. Oh yeah. Like I said, the yeah. All these canyons really do. I seen a picture of this covered in snow. It was gorgeous. Wow. Let's see the bottom. <laughs> like can we see the bottom? It's a rocky bottom, <laughs> so that's good. Because if it was a dirt one, we'd probably get stuck. <laughs> Jeep or no Jeep. It's just a fact of life. These lines. I thought that. Tammy was saying these lines on this mountain are man-made. I do agree. They're tears. Almost like, well, there are worse multiple ghost towns and mining camps throughout this canyon. And I'm thinking that they maybe mined along the edges. Each tear up to the top, but I don't know. Maybe those are mining roads too, some of them. I don't know. Maybe not. Wow. There's not as much powder on this end as compared to back there. There's a lot of snow. Should almost be not too far from Grover Lake in Kingston now. This is this is about as close in Nevada as coming to the high seers as you're gonna get really. Someone camping back here. See, if you can bring an RV back here, you can bring a car, you can bring a Jeep, all that, yeah. There's still some rocks and things. It's not too bad, that's a nice little camping spot there. It's quiet, that's for sure, but all the high brush, that might not be good if it warms up, there'd be a lot of snakes in that. You gonna get snakes out here. Wow. Woo. <laughs> Damn smoke. It's not too bad. That guy's got a truck. He could always pull me out. <laughs> right? Got a couple trucks back there. That's what I'm saying. Not too worried. Those tears go way up on the peak up there, man. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. Some of them water things, there's a camp spot. Some of the water things are a pain. I can see the bottom, so I'm not worried. They're all rocky. It's not mud. It's that. It's not compared to for Independence Lake where I was heading, that was bad. There was mud, there was like pools of water for 20, 30, 40 feet like that, but with mud, no rock. So I had to keep moving or else, you know. Well, and with the rock, you can see the bottom better with the mud. It's clear. It's clear water. Yeah. Should be not too far from Kingston. We'll see. I'm not rushing. I'm enjoying the scenery and taking it in. It's just such a narrow canyon. That's it is. It is narrow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to come out to Austin, please, by all means, take Big Creek Canyon Road and go up to Kingston. 
you can take a car here. Of course, if you're gonna take a car, you probably don't wanna go through those puddles if the car's low to the bottom. If you have a kind of a higher clearance car, like a Subaru, you could do it. And we have more water. Seems like the creek just keeps meandering over and over. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know I had an amphibious vehicle. <laughs> it's pretty amphibious today, isn't it? it? Makes me wish I had a little RV to park back here. Of course, tents are fine too. It gets cold in this canyon, I'm sure, at night. At least now I know I'm heading the right way south into the mountains. Pretty soon we'll head east. Yeah, I could deal with that. And then, of course, when it warms up, all these trees that you see ahead of us will be green. These are regular trees. These, these are not pine trees or pinions or junipers or anything. They're in the fall. They're all orange and red. There's reds and oranges and golds. Very pretty in the fall. Very pretty. Well, there's some, a lot of history in this canyon. You have four or five ghost town sites. Nothing's marked. There's nothing left. I could talk about history of each of them. It would do me no good because there's just nothing back here. I don't know how all these places just become eradicated off the map. They had schools and churches and all. I'm just gone, man. Flood, probably. Kingston is uh, a pretty nice ghost town. It's not very extensive. There's a cemetery, two historical buildings, and one stone building. That's about it for Kingston. And I may decide later to go in those hot springs, if the, but with it being Easter, there's probably about 20 people in them right now. <laughs> so I don't know. Petroglyphs are interesting. Those are almost 4,000 years old, and then there's another one I'm going to see maybe next time I'm out this way that's 10 to 12,000 years old. And that kind of history interests me as well. Petroglyphs and Native American history. Wow. Very pretty. Want to make sure I take a couple pictures too. This is Lord Rick. Bear trees. As I told everybody, there was mining camps and ghost towns. This mining camp obviously had these ore bin shoots. And the ore would be brought down into the chutes for processing they'd have a tram system or some rails leading to the mine and it would go down the chute and that would be it some parts the wind's really nasty other parts it's pretty quiet depends where you go in the canyon but it is chilly it's warming up once we get out of here it should get in the 50s or 60s today look there's snow i go play in the snow man well I, I just drove through a little bit of snow in the canyon, and, and it's climbing. This is the summit up here, and then from the summit it goes down the Kingston and Grover Lake and all that. I'm looking forward to the Big Creek Summit. Give you an idea how vast this is. Oh, there's a hawk down there. Damn, too far away to... Look at that. You got high desert, and then you got the Toyabe National Forest. I gotta pay attention to the road. I'm gonna cut this off and just, I'll bridge all the videos together so you can kinda see the road to Kingston. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Pretty good. How's the road up there? Uh, it's good. It's worse than it. It's stupid than this. It's sharp man. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. He said it's just steep and sharp curves. I should be fine. That's a little dune buggy or uh, off. Cool, the, yeah, those are expensive, but they're great for taking out this way. At least I've seen some people. I haven't seen anybody up here till now. They're doing the same thing I'm doing, just enjoying the Toyabe mountain range. Huh? Hunting? Okay. What the hell? Holy crap, Ola. 
it's this one. He said it's steep down. Is this Big Creek or is this? That's really steep. Yeah, dude, that's really, really steep. I don't know. Tell me. It's not as bad as you think. He told me it's steep down and there's some curves, but I should be all right. I'm not gonna race it down, guys. It's not that steep. It's not like it's muddy and icy. I'm just, maybe I should put it in second, huh? You wanna pop it in second or first? Just to be, so I'm not driving this too fast down it. Hug the side, don't worry. <laughs> that must be right there, Tayabi Peak. Yeah, right? I know you don't like these drop offs and steep roads, but like I say, it's not that bad. Look, I'm feeling better. With me, you get everything. You get the adventure, you get the ghost, you get the UFOs and aliens. You get everything with me. You get PTSD. You, you get, get PTSD, everything. yeah. And, and then you get to face it. Yeah, it looks I, like it switchbacks down. Yeah. Oh yeah, it switchbacks. It just keeps going down to the bottom of the canyon, below the snow line. Turn. Oh my god. Holy crap. Wow. That was a tight, I couldn't go anymore. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know. This is, this is definitely another part of Nevada I've never experienced. As I'm a first timer on this road. <laughs> In this mountain range. It's nice. Now see we're at the bottom of the canyon again. That was the summit right there not worth taking a picture of because no, there was nothing really to take take a picture of it goes down it's nothing like up there it's a mine up there i think it was probably a better thing we're coming down than I'm trying to go up and that was kind of steep yeah going up probably would have sucked That peak's probably almost 12,000 feet. Some snow patches there. It's the last we'll probably see the snow. There's a little here. We're coming up on Grover Lake soon. It's overshadowed, I believe, by this peak. But now we're at the bottom of the canyon. We went to the summit and we went down and now we're back at the bottom of this canyon and it's smooth rolling. This road's softer, it's good, it's better on the tires. There's a few rocks here and there. These are old wagon roads. They're in much better shape than, as Tammy was saying, than other counties in Nevada. Because other counties in Nevada just suck. They have boulders on the road. The real adventure begins when the pavement ends. And if you're not afraid to leave the pavement and you're okay with some heights without guardrails and hairpin turns and a little bit of water and snow, oh yeah, it's doable. You're not gonna get stuck back here. You gotta be safe and cautious. You can't take this road at 80 miles an hour. There's a lot of turns and drop-offs and cliffs. Yeah, and a few rocks, you hit one of those. That's not good either. There we go, that's what I wanted to show you folks. Because that's the last we're gonna see those. Those are, you can see that, that peak from Austin. I have pictures of it from Stokes Castle. Pretty cool, huh, people? Pretty cool. Look at that, folks. We've got a lonely cow in the middle of this canyon. It's the only one. Just out there by himself. You see that little black dot? That's that's just a cow. And he's just, I have a picture of him. And he's just staring at me. Kind of creepy if you ask me. We have some more snowy mountains, but we won't be going any higher of an elevation. The summit was at 3,000 feet up. 
and everything from there is gradually downhill and there's a sign that you can fat cows. I know he's fat <laughs> there was a sign you could bring RVs on this portion of the road so we know it's safe from here out some people come from Kingston and camp on this side other people come from the other side but you do not want to take an RV or a trailer on that hairpin turn you will go over I almost also ran over a baby bunny I felt so bad it just darted out and went right under the Jeep and I'm like oh please don't go under the tires because they do commit suicide sometimes and this is Easter and I don't want to kill the Easter Bunny Right. but we're almost through this we're actually going south and then we're gonna be going east. We're still following the creek. It's look how dry. It's not even trickling here. Water is not that abundant. And by summer, this place is gonna be hot and dry. And who knows? 100 years from now, the forest won't even exist here. This will be also part of the desert. Global warming. Call it whatever you want. It is what it is. Uh, I didn't mean I just can't believe there's a lonely cow by itself. It's they usually like to stick around by twos and threes, if if not more. And he doesn't look like he's hurt for food, that's for sure. No, he's pretty chunky. I took a picture of him, he's fat. He's not a skinny cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this road gets wider as you go. Well, like I say, you get closer to the town too. I like the scenic loop around Austin. That's nice. Oh my god. Do you care to put down eight clams? The goldfish ones? Yes. You They're like them. Well, I just didn't know what to get as a snack. I figure why not some grams? Some those are not bad. Yeah. Very scenic, very nice. I put it, I don't know if it was in the door or in the freezer or what, but I can't find it. Well, I thought that yesterday. I was like, I don't remember packing his chocolate. Yeah. I don't remember even packing it. I thought, oh, he probably put it in his suitcase. I needed some of that dark chocolate. My damn legs are cramping, man. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. A lot of snow up on those peaks. Wow. I'm driving through a tunnel of trees now. I call this the tunnel of trees. It's pretty narrow. You definitely bring an RV back here, you'll scrape it up, sorry. It's narrow, man. <laughs> I don't know why they say it's okay to bring RVs when this when this stuff is like, I only got an inch on each side. <laughs> I'm not even in one of those dually trucks or pulling an RV behind me. Is there? All right, guys, you guys gotta use the restroom. Yes. There are camping spots up here. If you gotta use the restroom, I would use it. Cause I'm gonna use the restroom. I've been driving for a while, man. Plus I did the ranch and then I off-roaded took my time through this canyon and we're almost through it though little yellow bird not yellow oh that's a squirrel or a little bunny a restroom in the middle of no man's land <laughs> wow holy crap this must be a hot, this is a trail head area up in here. There's trails. And somebody hit the sign. Wow. You can check this evidence out. Check this evidence out. Woo, that's bad. This is the trail head for this canyon. Very lush, very nice. Wow. Look at that, we have a little corral. It's pretty amazing. Rock formations, peaks, it's cold though, the winds are whipping. So I really don't want to do too much filming because you're not going to hear me anyways. Some cattle around here too. It's pretty nice. No. 
little house in the prairie, huh? Yes, ma'am. There's another one right there. It's crazy. That little pole right there. So like right. Back up. There's another one here. Look. Or something. I don't know what the heck this is. It must be an old ranch. Or an older ranch that was here. Could it be part of one of the mining camps that was back here, too? Look how narrow these get, man. I hate no. this. Me too, because I'm always thinking of scratching the truck. I don't want to scratch up our nice truck. <laughs> Just take it slow and it's barely big enough to get through. You know what I'm saying? Here's the other building right here. Look at that. It's like a house, man. Explain where the cows came from. Look, there's a out outhouse. Uh we get some pictures of this. This is this is a little homestead. Flagpole, maybe a summer home. Ladies and gentlemen, this has got this might be a Boy Scout camp, as my family suggested. I didn't even think about that. I thought, oh, this is part of the ranch. You see some cattle roaming around. Maybe someone has a corral. Is it? Well, then my, that's just a forest sign. See. Guard station. The Kingston Guard Station. Oh, cool. So we're almost at Kingston. Cool, cool, cool. At the guard station, there's even a swing. Oh, yeah, probably for fire... Oh, sorry. sorry. Probably for firefighters. Is there another little... What is this? The... God, you guys are killing me. Wow, people are throwing rocks in the windows, man. Humans don't treat anything right, do they? Everything I see has been vandalized out here. The truck. Another kiosk is down. Look how rotted it is at the bottom. Maybe the wind caused it, but I don't see how anything... Oh, termites. On... Termites, yeah. Termites? Termites. There's a trail marker. Wow. We should almost be in Kingston. The Kingston Guard Station is so that the firefighters or the guardsmen could keep an eye on the fire level danger. Sometimes they live there for three months, at the, six months even. And, and you know what the problem is, folks, is that all the windows are smashed in. It's just, these guys are up here doing their duty, making sure that this place is preserved for your children and their children's children. And yet people come up here and throw rocks in the window. I just don't get it. I've seen, I mean, at the Hess Ranch, vandalism, cores, cans, it's just, it's a little disheartening. You cannot explore these places if they don't exist. I mean, if they no longer exist due to vandalism, but also when the county sees that, they will tear the place down and then we will have nothing to go in or ghost hunt or explore or take photos or black and whites, whatever it is you do. Sometimes the road gets very narrow, and you have to be careful not to scrape the paint off. <laughs> or at least, when it narrows, just make sure you got about, you only have about an inch and a half on each side, two inches, so you really got to be an accurate driver. We're starting to go south, and pretty soon it's starting to curve a little, so I think we're going to be heading east up into Kingston. This is, this is considered Kingston Road now not Big Canyon Road once we went over the summit. There's more corrals to our right. Those are newer, not worth filming. They're not even wood, metal. Everything's a surprise around every corner today. Surprise, surprise! Shit. Oh, crap. Look at that. Grover, oh, look at that. Yeah. Do I drive? Pull over right there. I want to. Yeah, yeah. Where's the camps? Where the campsite is? Oh, cool. If 
guys want to check this out, you can come check it out. There's a big building made of granite and stone, native stone, and then there's Groves Lake. I guess this is a Pioneer Homestead, or maybe it's a station, an Overland or Pony Express station. This is what it's about. I told you, a surprise around every corner. I even got the lake here. Wow. This is nice. I got to see the lake. It's crystal clear blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want a picture with this thing. This is Wild West, man. It's Wild West as it's going to get. Standing inside the station, you could tell there was an earthquake at some point. Look how the rocks are just spread apart, pulled apart, caused by earthly vibrations. Possibly, possibly. This had, this may have been a station. Look how wide this entrance is. Almost like double doors on each side. Could be a Pioneer Homestead. Could be an Overland or Pony Express station. I'm not sure. I don't think the Pony Express ran down through this canyon. Borden National Forest. It's, you know, it's nice to use your imagination. Grover Lake, probably, this was probably called Grover Station and this was, this is Grover Lake that you see up here. It's really nice. This is Grover Lake. Although, if I go to Spencer's Hot Springs, there's actually five different springs and there's a geyser back there. But the one hot springs has koi in it. They come in all kinds of different patterns and colors. Bright orange. I don't think there's any fish in this lake. But I do think that it's kind of cool to be out here in this wilderness and to be able to see a lake in the middle of nowhere. This is a part of Nevada not a lot of people get to see. Although I do know some other lakes nearby. I just can't fit them into my itinerary. This is beautiful though. And this is Lord Rick. Welcome to my world. Okay. You could use my camera too. See folks, see how muddy it looks? Now it doesn't look blue. On top it looks blue because the lake reflects the sky. Just a little science 101. A lot of volcanic rock. You'll see giant rocks protruding out the mountainside. A lot of mountains in this region were formed with volcanic activity. For example, this mass of rock that protrudes out the side, that could have been a volcanic vent, and I believe it is. <coughs> Excuse me. You see this here in Nevadas all the time. Outcrops while hiking. There's been a rock slide too. We're descending off the Toyabe National Forest in the state of Nevada, but Oh, here's a car. You don't see too many of those, at least today. But we're descending into Kingston. And eventually we'll end up in the high desert of Nevada, where we'll see petroglyphs later. Spend some time at the lake. It's very cold. So we want to get out of this canyon. It's not the place to have a picnic today. Kingston Campground. Oh, that's a little little guy. A little chipmunk. So we'll see where this journey takes us. Next stop, the ghost town of Kingston. Whoa, is that a, what I think it is? Yeah, no, no, there's an, a beam and an entrance. I just noticed that. Oh, I love exploring this area. Be right back. Uh. It is. Why? The spider's on it. On him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was cleaning my camera. 
Whoa! It's a collapsed cabin of some kind. Wow. It's a mine, man. That's what this is, but I can't... I can barely climb this stuff. It's really slippery. Holy crap. Yeah. It's closed up. <sighs> wow. Shut the door. Woo. Look. On this mine. Things are way too dark. Looks like it drops off here. I, I'll have to look at the picture. Into the woods we go. See the desert valley straight ahead. We're almost in Kingston. It it, pretty soon we'll be out of the woods <laughs> and into the desert. One ecosystem to the next today. It's crazy. It's been that type of day. So anyhow, that was a mine. Part of the Kingston mining district perhaps. There's these towns had multiple mining districts and each district could have two to 20 mines perhaps. You just, who knows? Wherever people wanted to stake their claims at. And that claim I was just in could go for miles in the mountain. It's just no end to it. Walked hundreds of feet in and just no end. No end in sight.